again. Sorry, but I don't really have time to chat right now. Yeah, it's been days since I've had a good night's sleep. I was originally looking up some information at the House of Dana, but the more I read, the more I realized that my thesis is horribly lacking. I should have been done with the first draft of my thesis by now, but I've barely written a third. Hmm. Well... Uh, I guess I have to keep looking up as much info as possible. I shouldn't give up now. But who am I kidding? Maybe I'm not cut out to be a researcher. Maybe I shouldn't have come to the academia in the first place. All I've done is cause trouble for my advisor and classmates. Ah, uh, I should probably notify my advisor sooner than later, so he can focus his attention on the other students. Oh, uh, no, I don't even have the guts to bring it up, and I haven't completely given up yet. To be honest, I haven't slept a wink for days. <sighs> Just thinking about the awful state of my thesis keeps me up at night. Lack of sleep hinders my ability to focus, and if I can't focus, I can't do any proper research or thinking. Oh, I'm stuck in a vicious cycle. I've seen the caliber of the other academia students. They're all geniuses and fast learners. I'm nowhere near as gifted as they are. Oh, if it wasn't for someone who's been helping me out, my advisor probably would have kicked me out of the Darshan by now. If that was the case, I would have already left on my own. Mm, just the idea of being watched by a sage is terrifying. Ah, oh, this might sound strange, but I actually don't know who's been helping me. I don't even know if they're a person or not. Ooh, due to my lack of sleep, I sometimes get Dizzy and faint when I'm stressed out. Yeah, but oddly enough, when I wake up, all the things I was stressing over are taken care of. Uh, my homework somehow finished before the deadline, and my papers are perfectly written. But that's not all. My flowers are watered, laundry's done, even my broken camera was fixed. I really don't know what's going on, but for now, I'm calling the phenomenon a blessing from the stars. Maybe the stars above decided to help out after seeing all the effort I put into my research. <laughs> if that's even possible. Uh, but there's no point in me studying at the academia if I keep relying on this mysterious phenomenon. It comes down to my own efforts, improving one step at a time. Uh, how else can I honor my parents and live up to the expectations of everyone who knows me? Oh no. I've already spent too much time chatting. Oh, I still haven't made much headway on my thesis. At this rate, I'll need the Wisdom Seelie's help. Yes, but time's of the essence. 
so I have to take what I can get. Oh, sorry. I'm just making excuses. But the Wisdom Sealy is truly amazing and freely shares its endless knowledge. Oh, if you want its help, all you have to do is write down your question and you'll get a response a short while later. Uh, no one knows who or what it actually is. It's just known as the Wisdom Sealy. But getting an answer all comes down to the Sealy's mood. Sometimes it'll only give you a vague answer or play tricks on you. I'm pretty sure a researcher wouldn't do something like that. Uh, all I can do right now is hope that it helps me. Uh, who knows if it'll happen this time. I can't put all my eggs in one basket. Trying my luck with another phenomenon is... Oh, better than doing nothing. Hmm, you're right. I need to keep a level head. I don't have time to waste. But what do we do from here? I can't just go back and start packing to leave. Rest? But my deadline's just around the corner. Oh, I don't think I can afford to rest right now. Uh, you do have a point. Oh, sorry. I tend to panic easily, as you can see. Then how should I rest? I definitely won't be able to sleep. Ooh, as soon as I close my eyes, all kinds of thoughts start floating into my head. Oh, that's a good idea. A cup of coffee might help clear my head. Let's go. Let's sit down here and have some coffee and sweets. It'll help me put my thoughts together. Uh, no. We're here to rest. My problems will have to wait for now. Oh, hey, Layla. Uh, huh? I'm one of Layla's classmates. I just came by to say hi. We just submitted our theses and we're totally beat. Everyone will be meeting here to celebrate. Seeing how relaxed you look, you must have already had your thesis finished ages ago. Oh, no, I... I'm actually having a lot of trouble with it. You say that every time we talk, but you've never missed a deadline. Not only that, your papers are always well-written and thorough. Your advisor is constantly praising your work. Yet you're always going around saying stuff like, I can't make it, I don't understand, I'm super worried. That kind of talk doesn't reflect your work at all, you know. Well, uh, I... <sighs> For starters, she doesn't even try to participate with the group at all. It's one thing that she's not willing to help us, but she doesn't even bother showing up for our discussion meetings. Every time we come to see her, she looks out of sorts and on the verge of a breakdown. It's not like we can't finish our own theses without her, but no one wants to always see her this way. Uh, I know, I know. Sorry. Whatever, there's no point in starting an argument here. If you think she can justify her behavior, then that's your opinion. <laughs> uh, thanks for standing up for me. I really want to help the others, but most of the time I'm barely scraping by myself. There's very little I can help with. Yeah, I can't ever tell my classmates about that. 
I'd be a mess if they ever reported it to my advisor. It's really just a big misunderstanding, and there's nothing I can do about it. Everyone just gives me weird looks and judges me. It's making it really difficult to find friends. It's actually pretty rare for someone to actively engage in a conversation with me, uh, like you do. Uh, huh? What do you mean? Uh, yeah, that's exactly it. Seems you know just as well as I do. The thing is, I'm terrible under pressure. That's just my nature. Even the thought of everyone's expectations back home is enough to make me feel nervous. And the more nervous I get, the worse things become around me. Take what Munira just said, for example. I don't think I'll be able to get it out of my mind for the entire day. That means I won't be able to relax at all today. Uh, face it head on? Wh what should I do? Do you really think I can? Uh, oh, okay. I've got a pen and paper with me. Let me go through them real quick. Hmm... The theory sections are pretty much finished. I'll be able to finish organizing the rest of my own. Uh, as of now... I'm missing crucial observation data. I need the results of an observation to validate the conclusion of my thesis. And then there's the preparation for my thesis defense. Oh, I'll need to mentally prepare. What? You want to help me with my thesis? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I don't even know how to show you my gratitude. Uh, you're so kind. I had no idea I'd meet someone so nice in Sumeru City. Uh, okay, I'll do my best. It's the least I can do, considering everything you've already done for me. Uh, first on the list is the experiment to get observational data. I actually had it all planned out several days ago, and even borrowed a celestial globe from a Mahamata. However, the weather was rainy every single day after I borrowed it, and I was unable to compare the night sky against the celestial globe. There were a lot of people waiting to borrow the celestial globe, and I wasn't able to extend my time slot, so I returned it and haven't been able to borrow it again since. That's why I still haven't performed the necessary observations yet. I don't know what to do. That's right. The celestial globe is a high-precision device used specifically for researching the stars. Submitting an application to borrow one from the academia is pretty much the only way for me to get my hands on one. Huh? Why the Adventurer's Guild? Oh, I see. The Adventurer's Guild is open to everyone's commission, so she might have some ideas. Okay, uh, let's go and try our luck. Ad Astra Episosk. Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild. How can I help you today? Uh, I'd like to... Uh, I have a commission, um, it's kinda strange. How should I put this? <laughs> right, equipment at the Academia is in very high demand, and we aren't able to borrow one now. We were hoping someone else might have something similar that we could use. I don't know anything about astrology. So I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the device you are looking for. However, one of our requesters happens to be an astrology enthusiast. I hear that he's a collector of all sorts of specialized astrology equipment. After the Adventurer's Guild helped him out, 
He indicated that he'd be happy to return the favor if the adventurers ever need it. Perhaps we could arrange a meeting between you two. That should help solve your problem. R really? You're welcome. It's my job to provide adventurers with the necessary support. The man's name is Azam. Here is his address. You can go ahead and pay him a visit. H hello are you Azam? <laughs> yes, I am. How may I help you? Ah, I see. Well, if it's a request from an adventurer, then I'll be happy to help you. <laughs> I just so happen to have the device that you're looking for. Let me fetch it and show you, just to be sure. Yes, this is it. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just got a little excited. Uh, uh, please go ahead. Hmm. To be honest, judging by what stands before me, I find it very hard to believe that you're an astute Ratawahis student. Astrology is a hobby of mine, and these devices have cost me both time and mora to collect. I cherish them as if they were members of my own family. Which is why I don't let just anyone borrow them on a whim. These devices are delicate, and can easily be damaged if used inappropriately. Oh, th that's completely understandable. Uh, what can I do to better gain your trust? How about this? I don't need a deposit or anything, but I'd like you to share the contents of your research with me. I'll ask you some questions. If your explanation proves satisfactory, then I'll lend you the device. Sh share the contents of my research and answer questions? Uh... <sighs> All right. I'll try, but I can't disclose the actual details to you. Uh, how about a general overview of the research? Uh, would that suffice? Yes, that would be fine. You're probably aware that astrologists rely on the movements of celestial bodies to calculate the past and the future, as well as attempt to summarize the correlating principles, correct? Mm-hmm, of course. This is the basic principle of astrology. Ahem. <clears throat> My current research is about a certain phenomenon called astral shift. Interesting. That's not a topic any ordinary person would be familiar with. I have a basic understanding of the concept, but I'd like to hear you explain it. Uh, oh, okay. Well... In short, it means that the results derived from astrology are prone to change. As time continues to flow, the stars change and everything else becomes affected by this change. However, what's actually driving the change is what's worth investigating. I think that it might just be another law of nature. If the changes follow a certain pattern or routine, then it could be explained as some law. But the changes are manifold, even when considering just a single star. The changes could be resulting from a simple single orbit shift, or it could be a more complex double orbit, or even a triple or quadruple orbit shift. These phenomena have a dramatic effect on astrological conclusions. Uh, what I'm working on now is the research and prediction of the triple orbit shift phenomenon. Triple orbit? By yourself? Uh, yes. Uh, that's right. You do know that adding an extra star to the equation increases the computational workload by more than tenfold, right? Uh, it does get a little complicated. But it's still manageable with the use of a few self-invented techniques and a large number of star locks and star charts. <sighs> Which leads us to why I'm in need of a high-precision celestial globe. Hmm. <laughs> Amazing. I suppose I should never have judged a book by its cover. 
I thought you were just trying to half-heartedly deal with some school assignment. Uh, do I really look like that sort of person? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just joking. I was a little cautious at first, but now I trust you completely. It would make me extremely happy if my collection could assist a researcher in achieving tangible results. Just make sure you return it to me once you're done. Oh, thank you so much. I really needed this. <sighs> Good thing Azam was willing to hear me out. Really? I was just explaining what it is I'm trying to do. Really? <laughs> I don't know if you really mean it, but I'm happy to hear that. I guess even the hardest problems can be solved as long as I'm willing to try. Recording and comparing data will be much easier now that we have this device. I can do it all on my own, too. Let's continue with the plan. Can you help me with the rehearsal of my thesis defense? We can do that at the house of Dina. This seems like the best spot to do this. We'll need to be quiet so we don't disturb anyone. So here's what will happen during my thesis defense. After I present my thesis, the advisor sitting below will begin to ask questions. Theoretically, I should be able to answer any questions related to my thesis. However, I tend to get really nervous when my advisors look at me, and I end up completely forgetting what I plan to say. <sighs> That's why I want to rehearse and practice presenting my points in front of someone. Uh, that's right. You should have gotten the gist of the content in my thesis when I was explaining it earlier. So ask away. It's okay if your questions are a little off. I'll still treat them as real questions from an advisor and answer seriously. Uh, wait a moment! <sighs> Alright, Layla, you got this. You were able to explain everything earlier, so you can do it again. All right, ask away. Uh, sure. The direction of this research is based on the results of previous research. It's about the feasibility of applying my methodologies to the remaining triple orbit problems. Um, uh, based on a sample size of 124 cases, we could only achieve approximately 60% accuracy. The results were not reliable enough to be implemented as a law. You can see the common traits of the erroneous samples on page 3. Uh, excuse me, I mean from the star logs in the appendix. It's clear that in each of the erroneous samples, one of the stars underwent a significant shift. This means that... Uh, we not only need to limit the number of stars, but we may also need to consider the degree of shift when applying triple orbit shift algorithms. Stars with greater shifts are often key in astrology readings. The next step of the research should be... Uh, uh, the next step should be to identify the feasible thresholds of shift for applying our calculations. And that's my answer to your question. Do... do you have any other questions? <sighs> We're finally done. I'm gonna need more practice. I can feel myself getting flustered, and I start to stumble whenever I'm asked questions that I'm unfamiliar with. Oh, really? You mean it? Hmm, then this practice must be helping. During my first thesis defense, I stood like a statue on the stage and my palms were covered in sweat. I couldn't get a single word out. I didn't even realize it, but you're right. It doesn't seem like there's anything holding me back now. 
I guess that means I'm capable of completing the thesis all on my own. I can hardly believe it. This is amazing. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm really excited. This is the first time this has happened, really. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how to put this. I'm really happy about everything that's happened, but I'm also feeling a little sad. I still don't know anything about the blessing from the stars. Will it never happen again since I don't need its help anymore? Huh. <sighs> that somehow makes me feel a little... lonely. Yeah, it almost makes the blessing feel like it was just a tool used for my studies, no? But I would really like to discover what the blessing actually is, if I ever get the chance. Uh, I want to express my gratitude for it, or better yet, maybe we could be friends. That's basically how I feel about it. Even if I know nothing about the blessing, I could still feel its companionship all along. It's almost like how you help me. I really cherish and appreciate it. After all, it wouldn't be right to take such blessings for granted in our lives. That's good. I hope it's a little more satisfied with the way I am now. 